Mabuhai Kamusika, welcome. How are you? This is Bob from Love Beyond the Sea. What I'm going to be talking about today is called In Sickness and in Health. It's from the vow that you take when you get married that you will be uh, together uh, in sickness and in health. And so I thought uh, while I had this uh, pH probe, it's like a, a motility test uh, put in here, it would be a good time for me to do this video. I don't know if you can see it. It's called a, a digit trapper. I have to wear this for the next 24 hours. There's a probe here from my nose. It goes down into my throat, I think in two different places, to measure <clears throat> the activity of, uh, of my stomach. I've, I've mentioned I've had this stupid cough for eight or nine months and been looking at all kinds of things to see what's causing it. This is the latest thing to do. I put this, had this put in this morning. I have to go back tomorrow morning. It's a 24-hour thing, and uh, you know I've had, I've had three knee surgeries, three shoulder surgeries. I've had back surgery. I just had uh, my uvula taken out to see if that's what was causing this cough because it was really long. And I, I've had a couple of uh, carpal tunnel, you know, surgeries for both wrists. I've had other surgeries. And uh, this procedure here was the worst thing I've ever gone through. They put a, a larger, thicker probe down your throat to test to see where exactly to put this one. And that was the worst thing I've ever experienced in my life. And then you got to swallow a bunch of times and hold it without, you know, um, without, uh, without, I don't know, coughing or swallowing. I can't remember. I think you just had to breathe for like 30 seconds and not move and do it about uh, 10 times or something. And, and then they pulled it out, which didn't feel very good either. That was frightful. I would never do that again. So now <clears throat> I get to wear this other one here for 24 hours and it'll, it'll, you know, when I eat, I press a button or I lay down, I press a button and we'll see. So, I've had my share of, of injuries. I have a bad neck. I almost had a neck surgery. In fact, I had it scheduled and it got unscheduled, <clears throat> not by me. And one of these days, I'll have to have my, my right knee replaced. It looks like we're pumping chicken grease in there, you know, three times every six months uh, to help lubricate it to prevent that, you know, uh, knee replacement. I'm only 56 and a half. I know a guy at work. I don't, he might be my age. He just did it. You like to wait till you're in your 60s, so because uh, they're only good for about 20 years, you don't want to have to do it again. So anyway, I've got my share of concerns, but um, Filipinas are known to be great caretakers, and they're wanted in other countries for their caretaking ability. Now I know a Philam couple with a very large age gap, and I think this aspect to him was very important. He made it known to her that he had been married for 50 years and his wife died. He wanted somebody to be able to care for him. And um, in turn, you know, I think she would be, and her uh, child or two, would be um, financially taken care of uh, for the rest of their lives. So he recognized he didn't want to be in a bad situation alone at the end of his life, so um, this is part of his uh, much younger wife, what she'll be doing for him when she immigrates, maybe the end of this year still. Uh, this is uh, today, I, this is uh, May 21st, 2015. I got a lot of videos taped, I just haven't released them yet, so who knows when you'll see this. It might be soon, it might not be. But anyway, um, you know, he wants someone to take care of him, and he believes that his Filipino wife will do that for him. Now, I saw this firsthand when I was in the Philippines for the first time to meet my wife and get married all at the same time. And uh, a relative of hers, her husband had been crippled for a long time. And, um, you know, he really had no mobility. And, uh, but he had, you know, he still had his wife. She was still committed to him. You don't see nursing homes, so-called old folks homes, in the Philippines, you know, they stay with their families, and the Filipinas respect their elders, um, which is another reason why I feel safe uh, growing older with my wife. Now, my wife is such 
a good wife and caring. Uh, my mother is 84, 85 this year, and uh, she lives with us. My wife is great for her, and, and she would do her best to take care of my mom, too, if something happened to her. You know, uh, just a while ago, I had a couple surgeries, and uh, my wife was there to to take care of me, got some caregiving leave time off work, and that was nice. So um, I'm, I'm confident that I have nothing to worry about as I get older. If I need more surgeries or something happens, I truly believe that the, she is committed to me and believes that that is the right thing to do. So uh, in sickness and in health is part of the usual wedding vows, but taken seriously in the Philippine culture. And I see no reason why that would not be your experience if you marry the right Filipina. I have no doubt I will be well taken care of by my love beyond the sea.